Hello everyone and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and today we're going to do something a little bit different. You see there's no news for Total War Warhammer today. So I figured now would be the best time for me to talk to you about my plans for Thrones of Decay, my embargoes, what I plan to do, all that type of stuff as I can now confirm to you that yes I do have access to Thrones of Decay, the patch and everything else attached to it. You might wonder why I take so long to confirm that I have this rather than like the other creators who just confirm it on the day. Well, it's mostly because I like to have a good grasp of everything before I'm going to really hard commit. It's all well and good to say that, look, these are my embargoes, but then if the content isn't produced for it, yeah, I'm kind of letting myself down, you guys down, and everyone else down. So the first embargo is on the 16th of April. This is next week on Tuesday. And yeah, FLC, so Epidemius, that's already been confirmed publicly. Patch 5.0 stuff, because there's a few things that are coming into the patch, which is changing up certain unit playstyles and so on. And then obviously update and reworks. So I can't tell you exactly who's been updated and reworked, but yeah. You know, we've seen that Nurgle is getting a big one. There's quite a lot of quality of life changes, that's as far as I can say. But there's going to be a fair amount of videos throughout that week. So yeah, it's a week long for everything revolving around Epidemius, the FLC, and the updates and reworks. To which, if everything goes according to plan, as I'm still editing some of these videos, as you can imagine, uh, we did not have as long access as we normally have here. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be rapid fire for day one. There's going to be maybe five, six videos. And then after which I think it's going to be like two to three videos a day depending on various situations because you never know something can actually pop up. And yeah, streaming will still be happening. Twitch.tv slash The Great Book of Grudges. I'm going to be live every single day. Uh, I normally do about eight hour streams and that's going to be there for fun, you know? We're going to be there chatting and so on. Don't worry if you can't make it because at the end of the day, yes, the eight hour streams. On the 23rd is the next embargo which is all the DLC content. Which is kind of weird. Obviously when it comes to these things it's normally divided. But I imagine that everything that's happened with Creative Assembly and Sega's recent uh, really rather shocking announcement of further layoffs has thrown their plans away. So yeah, here you'll be getting videos and overviews of Malachi McKayson, Tamilkan, Elsev, all the new units. And I do want to go back to certain characters and see how they are with the new units also because there are some characters which are greatly going to benefit from this. I discussed this a while back but obviously seeing a full Slayer DLC coming into effect could actually make Ungram Iron Fist a lot more thematic for example and well you know there's obviously a lot of Nurgle troops which will be available to the Beastmen and also to the Warriors of Chaos so I do want to have a little bit of a look at all that. As with Shadows of Change, despite the drama, these DLCs do benefit other factions quite heavily sometimes, so I do want to see if there is actual value into that. And then finally, on the 29th of April is the review embargo. Now, the release date for the DLC hasn't been uh, publicly stated, but there have been some leaks, I believe, on the Epic Game Store, so it does look like the DLC is coming at the expected time. Now, with the review, I've written out a framework about it. I'm not going to tell you exactly just yet because you're going to have to wait until that specific day, um, which is annoying, but yeah, that's not my decision. That's Creative Assemblies. But yeah, I've written out a basic framework. The idea is afterwards I'm going to jump in more from a player's point of view because right now as a content creator and I feel like this type of transparency is good when I jump into some early access stuff I have to look at it first from a content creator's view which is obviously what type of videos can I make is this going to be a decent video is this fun blah 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 and then afterwards once the main bulk which is pretty much done now but the main bulk of that content is done I can look at it from a player's point of view because yeah I'm still a player of this game and like some people I actually do play the games even when there's no early access stuff. I do have some plans for some other content in between that like for example there is lore videos that I want to do on these characters the scripts are mostly done I did lose the original script so I had to kind of restart that but I had to take my time because obviously that's not as important as showcasing the DLC content for you guys to decide for yourselves if it's worth it or not. When it comes to the review I've done a dry run of it just to kind of see how long it is so far. It's about 45 minutes long it might be a bit longer by the time that that's all done because now that I can view it more as a player than a content creator I can 
well, I've got two weeks to pretty much dissect everything as much as possible. So yeah. Now with all that being said, if there's anything specific that you want to see, please leave a comment in this video so I can check it out. Because at the end of the day, you know, if you want to see something specific, if you want to see if something has been heavily changed or added to actually give you some more value towards that DLC, I'm more than happy to help because at the end of the day, this is pretty much what this as a job for me is for. So yeah, we also have to take into account that obviously, yeah, there was a shit show with <laughs> Shadows of Change and we're trying to avoid that. So if you want to see something to make sure that this is going to be worth it for you, yeah, let me know. But with all that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let's start a bit of discussion. I do apologize for the lack of like information dumper stuff today. I was going to do a low video, but I've been really tired. Uh, like as you can imagine, between this and some other personal matters, um, yeah, it's been difficult. There's only so many hours in the day. Plus, got some good news actually before we end this. The battle reports will begin in May again. I've got a few armies almost up and ready, and the studio has had a really nice upgrade, so I can't wait to show you guys that. But yeah, have a good day, guys.